Hi, my name is Alice with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be answering the question, is Confluence better than SharePoint, or is it the other way around? If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. Now, this video is a very special video because it is part of the Summer of Atlassian 2.0 series, which means that you smashing that subscribe button is more important than ever. We have a goal of trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the summer, so if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, Take a second here, smash the subscribe button, and help us crush our goals. Also, please do make sure you like, comment, and share this video, as we're also trying to double our views on these videos. And by you doing those three things, totally free to you, are going to help more more people watch these videos. Now, this video is also sponsored by my good friends over at Gliffy. Gliffy is my presenting sponsor for all my Confluence videos this summer. So make sure you check out the link in the description for even more information. Gliffy makes intuitive drag and drop diagramming software that helps teams of all types collaborate more effectively. Gliffy's deep integrations with both Confluence and Jira make it the leading Atlassian diagramming tool. It allows users to create everything from technical diagrams describing software architecture to basic mind maps to capture ideas. They have over 18 million users. And if you're not currently one of those 18 million users, I recommend that you check out the link in the description below and go show our presenting sponsor some love. Try out Gliffy, sign up, and show them the power of YouTube and what a great community can do for a company such as Gliffy. Now, let's jump into today's video. Oh, and before I forget, I just launched a new podcast with the Jura guy. So make sure in the link and down in the description below, you also check out the link to the Jura life. That is our brand new podcast. We're going to be streaming once a week, answering all community questions, talking about all things Atlassian. So go share some love, help us crush our goals of monetizing that podcast by the end of the summer. So everything's all free. So go check it out down below. Now let's jump into today's video. All right, so Confluence versus SharePoint. A lot of teams have SharePoint, especially when they are already a Microsoft shop. So if you're using something like Microsoft Teams or you have the Office 365 suite, then you will most likely have SharePoint and some teams try to do SharePoint. But a lot of teams also have Jira. And with Jira comes another integration with Confluence. And since this video is all about Confluence, we're gonna highlight and talk about why Confluence is better than SharePoint. Number one, Confluence is much easier to get started with than SharePoint. I've used SharePoint since like 2012, and it is an eyeful. It is something very complex. The UI is not the friendliest. It requires some getting to know the tool, while Confluence, it's like just like editing a Wikipedia. So if you've ever just used Wikipedia to search something up, it is super intuitive, super easy to just jump in and start creating right away. It takes milliseconds to get started with Confluence versus the steeper learning curve that SharePoint has. Number two, the user interface is much more user-friendly and intuitive. In Confluence, you just click and you just start writing right away. You just you get the ball rolling immediately. You just create a page and you're off to the races. You give it a header, you start typing, maybe you use a template, maybe you don't, but you just jump into it and you start writing your thoughts, capturing your thoughts on paper. But in SharePoint, you kind of got to go and architect things a little bit more. You got to go and create your sections and you got to figure out where you're hovering your mouse so that you can find the right little plus button so then you can be presented with like a plethora of different things you can add and then by the time you get it all set up correctly like that train of thought whatever was in your mind that you wanted to capture it's gone so that right there is just a deal breaker for me number three confluence integrates so seamlessly with jura it just connects and talks to each other so anytime that you mention a jura issue inside your confluence page on the jura side a link is created right back to your Confluence. At the Jira project level, you also get a dedicated section where you can connect a Confluence space with the Jira project and have those talking to each other so you can see all your Confluence pages from within the Jira UI without ever having to leave the Jira UI. And on the topic of integrations, Confluence also does offer a vast number of applications and plugins through their Atlassian Marketplace, such as our sponsor for this video, Gliffy. Make sure you check out Gliffy, the number one diagramming tool with over 18 million users. They're one of these plugins that make Confluence even better. 
Make sure you check out the link in the description below. If you've never used Gliffy, I highly recommend you give them a try because it's a great plugin in order to be able to capture not only just technical documentation like your sequence diagrams and all this other architecture that is really, really critical to communicate the designs and the intent of your projects, but also if you just want a place to like in a very visual way to capture your thoughts and ideas. So make sure you go show Gliffy some love, go check them out, try them out, get them installed on your Confluence instance today. And then on top of the integrations with all those plugins, we also get macros. So macros are very powerful. They basically allow you to like 10X your usage of Confluence. These macros will make life easier. They're really clever. Some of them can connect, some of them build your table of contents. Others do all this integration with Jira where you have diagrams that you can put, metrics and diagrams that you can pull in from Jira. You can pull in your roadmaps from Jira. So a lot of really powerful things that you can do in-house all built into the Confluence interface. Also, Confluence is so much easier to organize. When I'm looking at SharePoint, you gotta just like figure out, like it's a very, it feels like a 1990s web development type of situation where you really do gotta come in with like a, a thought of like, well, how do I wanna design? How do I wanna organize my stuff? And in SharePoint, like if you change your mind, moving things around, it's just not intuitive. It's really challenging. Versus in Confluence, all you gotta do is like drag and drop. You just move it where you want it and it's just gonna drop it right where you want it. So if you change your mind, if you, you're like, oh, well, I need to move this over here, or I need to move this over there, it's super intuitive, super easy, anybody can do it. And then finally, probably the most important feature in my opinion is the powerful search capabilities. Over time, whether you're in SharePoint or you're in Confluence, you're gonna add stuff. You're gonna add a lot of stuff, a lot of information, a lot of meeting notes, a lot of retrospectives, a lot of just, a lot, a lot of information. And at the beginning, it's easy to find stuff, but new people, when they get onboarded or just in the sheer amount of just information you're collecting, it's gonna get challenging to find things after some time. And in SharePoint, you just don't have this. You don't have the same intuitive search function that is built into Confluence because you can type in any keyword into Confluence's search bar and it will find every page and it's just gonna be very, very powerful, very, very intuitive to be able to help you find the information you're looking for. You can tag pages for even quicker searching and it's just crazy easy and unbelievably fast and it is just one of the best reasons why I love Confluence because I don't necessarily have to think about where and how I'm gonna put my information. I just gotta capture it. I gotta get my thoughts out of my head into Confluence, whether that be in written text or if I'm using Gliffy to capture a diagram. But in any case, it's all just gonna be in Confluence and then I can go and search for things very, very easily, very, very intuitively. I can tag things for a quicker search and it's just gonna make communicating not only just as I'm writing my notes down, but also with the rest of my team, I can give them links, I can share pages, I can even now coming soon, share pages externally. And so it's just really, really awesome. And the only drawback between the two products that I would say that maybe SharePoint wins, because I do wanna give SharePoint a point, is, Confluence does require, I mean, both of them do require a license, right? You're gonna have to pay for a license for SharePoint and you're gonna have to pay for a license for Confluence with one caveat. The licenses for SharePoint are inherited because the fact that you have Teams, the fact that you have Office 365, you're most likely gonna have that SharePoint. So it's not free for your company, they're already paying for it. But on Confluence, the cost is not always instantaneous, right? You do maybe sometimes have to go get added into Confluence. But depending on the team, depending on the company you work for, that might already be taken care of because it is a good practice to, if you have a Jira user, you should probably have them in Confluence because they really do go hand in hand. So other than that, but the pricing perspective from what I see is very, very close. It's just one of them is gonna be more inherited, so it'll be more transparent to you versus the other one you're gonna have to essentially opt into it, right? The other one you gotta opt out of. So that's the only major difference that I would give a point to SharePoint because obviously, you're in a Microsoft world, then it's already just woven into the fabric of what is Microsoft. So it's gonna integrate really well with the Microsoft tools. But if you're maybe a Google subscriber and you don't necessarily buy into the Microsoft's tool suite, then Confluence, Gliffy, and all this other stuff over here with Jira is gonna be that much better. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I wanna remind you of a few things. Number one, make sure you go subscribe to our new podcast, The Jira Life. 
go show it some love. We are trying to monetize it before the end of the summer. And so we can definitely do that if you help out by subscribing to that podcast. Number two, make sure you just subscribe to this channel as we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. And finally, a special thanks to Gliffy, our presenting sponsor. Thank you so much for believing in us and for helping us out. Make sure you check out Gliffy, the number one diagramming tool with over 18 million users. You should definitely go become number 18 million and one because Confluence and Gliffy do go better together. Go capture your ideas and instead of just text, go put some visuals to it. Go make sure you capture diagrams, be able to articulate because I always like to say a picture is worth a thousand words and Gliffy is just going to help you communicate those thousand words with just one little picture. And so make sure you go show them some love. All the information for everything I just described is in the description down below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need